oh god i do not know how to do this so um i made a cheese board and i wanted to record it because my private story told me to so hey 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 um here's me lighting some candles to set the mood and the ambiance so they were they were paris cafe and eucalyptus rain i think so first i went and grabbed my supplies from the pantry and then i went and got some seasonings for my camembert which is the best cheese and nothing can change my mind and then i went rummaging through the fridge like eight million times because i kept forgetting things there's a lot of stuff in the fridge so there's me grabbing some like i don't know other cheese oh there's some baby bells and some prosciutto so there's my baby the camembert and then mine the one i like doesn't come in a wooden box so that's kind of sad so first i just score the top of the camembert with the rind on because the rind is the best part so after i scored that i unpackaged some baby bells the finest cheese i could find and i chopped them up a little So there's me chopping up some baby bells and you're gonna see some garbage pile up around the board but i was on a time crunch so i didn't have time to clean up much oh here's some portuguese cheese and i only used a little bit because i didn't want my dad to yell at me am i speaking too quiet i don't know okay so i moved the candles over because i thought it would be cute and i had my star lines on my camera pop open some honey and drizzle it all over the camembert because the sweetness is what makes it and then some rock salt and crushed red pepper and freshly ground black pepper and I put it in a little glass container because I don't have the wooden box and so there it goes in the oven and then I got some cranberry sauce which is mostly just my choice I struggled to get it open and then my camera my SD card got full so I had to change it so you didn't see me filling up the ranch and carrots so then I just got some prosciutto and rolled her up I only got like three pieces because I don't really like it but I needed some meat on my board and then here's some rearranging because I am never satisfied with my cheese board. So I just put out some everything, they have to be the everything flat pretzel thingies. I got the value size from Wise. So I took the camembert out of the oven, which was a mistake. And you'll see. And I just took out some dried mango from Wise, the dried mango at Wegmans sucks. And some grapes for show, but I only ate one. And then I put a baguette in the oven for a little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm eating it there. So I put the baguette in the oven and toasted it or made it crispy or whatever. And I chopped it up. And then there's some a little slice of gorgonzola, which is gorgonzola, but with a B. And then I poured to myself some what is it called? Pe Pellegrino, San Pellegrino, the lemon one. So I put my, I, I didn't remember that, but I took the camembert away and then I put it back in the oven because it wasn't done. So here's my cheese board. And that was a really bad, I don't know if you can call it a tutorial, but yeah, I love my cheese boards and I almost ate the entire thing. And my dad got some but they're really fun and they're really easy 
and I just ate that for my dinner. See, look how look how gooey that camembert is. Grab some baby bell and a pretzel that um, got massacred. I don't know why I put the cheese back, but I did. So there, make your own. They're fun. Um, like and subscribe. I I don't know. Thanks. Haha. <laughs> I hope I don't get bullied for this.